Hey guys, how's it going? I don't know, but hello. Today, I did this look that is inspired by Madison Ashley. Well, just the eye look is, nothing really else, but I don't know. It's very pretty, it's very full, and it was pretty easy for my first makeup tutorial back for a while. And, I don't know. I just wanted something simple and quick, because I'm not really, I don't, I don't know. I wasn't in a mood to film today, but... I don't know. Then I kind of just started watching her videos and I got in the mood and then... Yeah, it's my problem, not yours, but... Uh, if you guys want to see how I got this look, keep on watching. Woo. Start out with today's look. I'm going to go into the BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil palette. And I'm going to be using uh, the yellow shade right here. And just putting that a little in my crease and up higher in my crease and we don't want to wing out the look we just kind of want to like stay in the little like half spoon shape thing we really don't wing it out just kind of stay in this shape the yellow doesn't need to be too um like bam because it's only like a little part of the look even though like the main show so then I'm going to go into this color and this color and mixing them and putting them in my crease within that little half moon shape. And then I'm going to go back into the yellow and just kind of put it, kind of blend it over top on the top of that orange just so we can reinstate it a little bit and just very lightly. So you can just get the yellow effect. God, it's been so long since I've the makeup tutorial. I feel like I forget everything. Okay, so now we're gonna ditch this palette. And now we're gonna go into the Modern Renaissance and we're going to use Red Ochre and Vintinia Red. I don't know. And we're just gonna focus it on the lid and then we're gonna blend it up it's an all matte look we do not need no shimmer today you don't want to put the red too high because we have to blend it up afterwards and we don't want it to look crazy so now taking a clean blending brush and just kind of going over where we put the red and the orange and just kind of blending it out and then we can always add more red and then go back what we need because we, we don't we'd rather build it up rather than starting out crazy i'm gonna go quickly again back into the beach cosmetics palette and just put a little bit more of the yellow on the top okay and now putting on mascara which i'm going to be putting on the l'oreal voluminous lash paradise mystic black mascara on just a little bit so my lashes can blend so my lashes can blend with the fake lashes and for lashes today i'm going to be using the kiss lashes in the style number 11 so i'm going to put these on and i'll be right back okay now that we're done with my eyes i'm going to start on the face so i have this elf blemish control face primer i'm just going to do two pumps of that on the back of my hand and then right between my fingers, and then put it on my face. And, um, we're going to do a cocktail for foundation, but we are going to use the Infallible Pro Glow, Pro Glow by L'Oreal and the e.l.f. Oh, Flawless Foundation. We're going to make a cocktail. I'm gonna use a little bit more because I don't think I have enough coverage from it. A 
it looks like a busted mess. Okay, time for concealer. I'm going to use the Sephora Bright Gel, Bright Future Gel Serum Concealer, and just putting it under my eyes. Highlighting my forehead, my nose, my cute on and my chin. Right here, why not? And then I'm gonna leave my eyes for last so it can dry a little bit for coverage. Foundation looks are real, god damn. So as I'm ready to blend out my um, under eyes, I'm going to use the Morphe, what is it called, 06 PC palette. And I'm going to use this shade to set my under eyes with a brush. And I'm having this right on hand after I'm done blending so it doesn't crease. And I'm going to be using this brush to set it. I'm going to take the CoverGirl Outlast All Day um, face powder. I'm in the shade Fair to Light, 810. And just taking this brush, swirling it around, and then setting my whole face with it. I'm going to be back doing makeup videos now. I'll maybe, I'll post one a week. So I'll do like a lifestyle video and then a makeup video one day. Cause like, don't get me wrong, I do like doing makeup videos. They are fun. But I just feel like this channel could have more to it. Like, like I just, cause I understand like makeup's a big thing right now on YouTube. And like a lot of people do like watching makeup videos. But, I don't know. That's what I thought I wanted to do at the start of this channel, but now I'm just kind of losing that motivation. I. Okay, so now we have a blank canvas. I'm going to now bronze. And with bronzing, I'm going to use this palette again. Ugh. And I'm going to be using, I'm not going to contour because I don't really contour anymore, but I'm going to be using this shade of contour, or to bronze, and just kind of taking a fluffy brush and just kind of going around the perimeter of my face. Um, now I'm going to finish my under eyes. I'm going to take the Modern Renaissance. I'm not going to go too hard into it, but I'm just going to go into raw sienna and red, red ochre and kind of just run around along my lash line. Okay, and what is it now? I'll put on some mascara on the battle lashes now. For highlighting, I'm going to use the Sleek Makeup Solstice Highlighting Palette, and I'm going to use the yellow one. I'm not going to highlight my cheekbones. I'm just going to highlight the center of my face. Now just blending out with the same powder brush I had before. And then I'm gonna highlight my inner corners. Now for blush, I'm going to use the Burt's Bees um, blush and the shade Bl um, Bare Peach. And focusing it on the more of the side of my face, not the front of my apples. Step is lips. So I'm going to take the Rimmel Exaggerate Full Lip Color Lip Liner in the shade Epic and kind of um, line my lips and then overline them a little bit on the top and my cupid's bow area. Going in with the um, Heart Canley Velvet Mousse Matte Lip Color in the shade Fox Glove and putting it on. Now setting my face with the Cover FX Mattifying Sun Spray. Okay, you guys, so this was the, this is the final look. I hope you enjoyed it. I took inspiration, like I said before, in um, Madison Ashley. She did this look a while ago. It's like a fall look, but I just, I don't know. I just wanted to do it now because it's really pretty. I, I don't know why I look so busted on camera. Like, it looks really good in person. I don't know. We'll see. Because I'm looking, like, in my phone camera, 
and like it looks busted but maybe it looks different when I'm editing it but we'll figure it out um yeah <laughs> if you like this video make sure to like this if you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because my new plan um for scheduling is going to be one lifestyle video one makeup video that's how I'm hopefully going to do it it might not end up going that way but that's what I'm the, that's what I'm trying to try and do so yeah that's all for me so I'll see you next time bye